Tom. Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. God, I love the art in those beginning chapter segments. Hello everybody, Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Three Houses. In the last episode, we played, or we participated in and won the Battle of Eagle and Lion. There was no deer category in that, unfortunately, but we still won. 5,000 G from the Church of Saros for funding for this activities, and <gasps> what's happening? Ignatz, let's go. All right, time to sneak off and do some painting. Professor, such lovely weather today, huh? I was, uh, just about to go for a walk. Why are you bringing paper? What, this? No, it's, a. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. I'll admit it. I was going to do some painting. You remember the place where we talked before? I've been painting the scenery there. I'm still keeping up with my academics and training, of course. I just paint in my spare time, as a change of pace. You don't have to hide it. Oh, I don't? Uh, well, yes. Maybe you're right. I may have gotten ahead of myself. I'm sorry for panicking there. Honestly, I'm just worried that my father will find out that I've been painting. I'm not going to tell him. Of course. Why would you go out of your way to tell him that? Completely illogical of me. But it seems I've developed a bit of a complex about it. My father's not a fan of my artistic pastime, you see. We're a merchant family, and my older brother is set to inherit the business. As for me, my father decided I should be a knight. That's why I'm at the academy. Painting won't help me become a knight. It's a waste of time. Is that why you feel guilty about it? Well, yes. I feel like I'm betraying my parents. I hear the business has been slow for them over the past few years. If I become a knight for an influential noble house, I could use my connections to help support them. My father was determined to send me here. He must have been, considering the enormous amount of money he spent. I don't think I'm well suited to being a knight. My parents sent me to the academy for their sake, not my own. When I think about how hard my family is working just to stay in business, how can I sit idly by? All of which is just to say that painting will have to remain my little hobby. Nothing more. Not that I could make a career out of it even if I wanted to. That's just a fantasy. Ignatz is put into a very interesting predicament, having to choose between his hobby and his family. Not to say it's, it's not impossible to juggle the two, but it might be very difficult. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic and dark magic at that. You're talking about Remire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Remire Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. 
If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> That's nice of you. Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the Knights. Hey, what's wrong? I just got a little dizzy. If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. Hmm. Well, don't mind me, I'll just be here having a heart attack. Instruct the class manually. We do have another paralogue, it seems, as well, so I'll be looking into that. In terms of wh whom and what I'm going to instruct in, well... Flane, I've tried making a flying class, but that didn't seem to work out. I could try to project that on somebody else, or try to recruit somebody else to take up that role. For the time being, I think I'm gonna work on... Oh, uh, let's see... I don't know where I want to go with Claude. Because he's an archer first and foremost. I have no idea. Honestly, I've been kind of mulling around the idea of having him give up, uh... Give up the bow and just work on axe stuff. Yeah, because if I could make him into a wyvern rider, that'd be a flying unit and it would uh, use his ability with axes. So I think for now, I'll start teaching Claude in the ways of axes and flying. Uh, He seems to have a, a strength for flying too, so let's go with that. Perfect! Praise him! I see. Uh, I'll do it one more time. Whoops! I didn't mean to do it twice. I wanted to save two for axes, but I guess I'll do one for axes. Uh, let's see. Whom else? Whom else? Lysithia, Lysithia and Marianne don't have the best, uh, 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 motivation right now. So, I think I'm gonna just switch over to... Yeah. Because I want to make you into a heavy knight. How's this gonna help? Oh, well, you won't have to walk anymore. That's something. <laughs> You're glad you don't have to walk anymore, you lazy oaf. All right. Uh, let's work on your axes, buddy. Bad, he had a lot of greats across the board. I can teach two more people. Uh. La. Yeah, Cause I was planning on having Claude go for Sniper, but I was gonna, but I think I'm gonna switch that over to Bernadetta. And just. Straight up go for the uh. Praise her. I have to praise you like I should. Uh, I could stick with Lawrence. I forgot, I keep forgetting like what exactly Dark Knight entails. Was it A in reason? Uh, B plus in reason. I think, uh, I think, uh, what was the other one on here? Warlock, that had a uh, cause for A in reason. So I might as well work on, his lances are fine, so I think I'm just gonna keep working on his, uh, his reason and writing. Perfect! 
This I didn't mean to go all the way in writing. Ah, whoops. Goals. I could use a flying unit, so you're gonna be training and flying. Uh, that's everything I could do there. Group tasks. Uh, yeah, Flane's not really gonna work out in that regard. Let's just do Claude and Marianne, because Marianne is good for, uh, is good with animals. Begin the lecture. Question, Professor. I don't care about being pretty or anything, but it bothers me that some people don't even realize I'm a girl. They're wrong, pay them with mine, doesn't matter if people think you're pretty, maybe you're overthinking it. Uh, oh boy. Well, she's already maxed out on that, but usually given the right answer I'll get, also gives you professor points. Uh, they're wrong, yeah, pay them with mine. Absolutely. There you go. Motivation increased and 1,000, I think it was 1,200 professor points. Uh, focus on, we're, we are currently focused on bow and authority, but she should be in bow and, just bow to focus as a sniper. I'm gonna say no because I, like, I've mentioned this many times before. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Claude? Hey, Teach, hold on a minute, okay? I'm gonna have this cleared up in no time. What are you doing? I came across a fascinating book about poisons, and so I wanted to try mixing one up myself. And... Done. What do you think of that, Teach? A colorless, odorless poison. Say, care to test it out for me? Sure. Whoa, really? <laughs> Actually, I was just kidding. If you drink this, in two days' time, you'll have terrible, uh, let's call it stomach trouble. I hear your silent question, Teach. Why the delay? That's so it can be used even if you don't have access to the target when you need the poison to take effect. Uh, naturally, I have no immediate plans for this stuff. I suppose I just felt like broadening the old horizons a bit. When devising schemes, it's best to have as many options at your disposal as possible. Expanding those options is kind of a hobby for me. Why such a dangerous hobby? Well, I grew up in an environment where it was necessary to think that way. It's like I told you before, I wasn't born into a life of luxury. Ever since I was a child, I've always been seen as different from those around me. An outsider of sorts. I've been resented and hated. There have even been attempts on my life. I don't believe I've earned such treatment, but that's how it goes for people like me. I don't think of you as an outsider. Thanks, Teach. You know, in many ways, I'm just a normal person like everyone else. But in the right environment, anyone could be seen as an outsider. It can become overwhelming. And that's why I kept running, kept fighting. As a kid, I spent a lot of time licking my wounds and coming up with schemes, trying to keep my nose out of trouble while plotting against my enemies. My parents always told me I wouldn't grow stronger if I didn't learn to fight my own battles. And so in the end, I did. And I grew up to be as independent and self-reliant as my parents always wished for me to be. Lucky me, right? You've been through a lot, you grew up well. You've been through a lot. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, it must be you, eh, Teach? I get the feeling you know what it's like to be an outsider. The moment I first laid eyes on you, I knew you weren't like everyone else. People don't care for folks like that. You do well to watch your back. On the bright side, that's also part of the reason that I find you so interesting. <laughs> Hmm, he's got an interest in me, does he? Hmm. Somebody's birthday. Oh, man alive. Tomas doesn't seem to be here. Oh, well, that's fine. I've been researching the hero's relics a lot since we last spoke to him. I found out something interesting. Something interesting? It's about the connection between crests and the hero's relics. The crest stone of each relic is carved with a specific crest, the one that has the ability to wield it properly. The crests are the keys. You need the right one to safely use a hero's relic. The only thing I can't figure out is, why doesn't the sword of the creator have a crest stone bearing a crest? It had one in the past. Precisely. At least, that's my current guess. 
there's more. I believe the Crest Stones might be the source of the relic's inhuman power. When Miklon transformed into a black beast, he was taken over by something that originated from the Crest Stone. And the Crest Stone was on his body. It all seems to add up. Now, look at this picture I found in the library. That creature is called the Immaculate One, who was supposedly sent by the goddess to save the followers of Saros. You see the pattern on its brow and a faint circular boundary? Isn't it possible that's a Crest Stone? If all this is true, then Crest Stones are what power the ability to assume massive forms like that of the Immaculate One. And maybe the hero's relics can harness that transformative power. Oh, it is you. Have you seen Tomas recently? No such luck. I was hoping to speak with him myself, but he seems to be out on the town. I see. Well... Hmm? Where did you find that picture? It was in the library. Why do you ask? Is it something my youthful eyes shouldn't be seeing? No, of course not. However, that is not part of this library's collection. It must belong to Tomas. It would be problematic if it got mixed in with the other books. I will take possession of it for now. Take it away where no one can see it, you mean? What was that? Well, that's what Tomas said. He said records that the monastery doesn't approve of tend to disappear. Tomas said that? Preposterous. I have far too much to accomplish to waste time with this foolishness. He was certainly in a hurry. I wonder if he's off to confront Tomas. Well, he took the picture, so I guess that's that for now. I'll see you later, Teach. So, the church is hiding something after all. Some massive secret about relics and crests. A secret that must have something to do with the professor's true identity. Hmm, very interesting. Whose birthday is it today? Oh, it's Lynn. Have some I flowers, Lynn Hart. Yeah, it's yeah, good for you. I'm glad it's you. We'll knock their socks off. Can't argue with results, can you? Perfect! Raise up the flying skill. Axes are up. Got a lot of people's riding skills going into now this. Now I see the heart of it. Ooh, Lor Lawrence learned the Ragnarok. I grasp on this. Lysithia learned Seraphim. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We got our free day. What's the online community doing? Everyone's exploring, no one's done a seminar. Basically everyone's exploring, all right. Sounds egg let's just skip it. <laughs> I kid, of course. We're gonna be going on, on exploration as we as we generally do. Uh begin exploring. Oh, Sothis! I do not know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit. It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? I am. And yet, it feels familiar, as though it pulled from a corner of my memory, from a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. Speaking to her from this angle, it looks like she's just thrusting her butt at me. Uh, we got five quests! Oh, God. Uh, well, let's do our usual rounds here. I don't want to study. Good for you. I got to zoom out the map. There we go. All right, we'll start at the dorms and make our rounds, starting off with our dear Bernadetta. Oh, Bernie. Still life picture, still life painting. Uh, features an unusual flower, probably belongs to someone who's fond of art. What is it? Uh, sorry, I've um, I've got a cold. Get well soon. Uh, hey, uh, did you lose something? Uh, let's see, did, did she lose anything? Probably not. Training muscles, deep connection to Rhea. 
Those bell out of my pit. Do you like um, baking? Why did you? I probably should have told her that she doesn't have a cold. I just wanted to be supportive, even though she was lying. Uh, well-used hatchet quickly works outside. Hello, Manuela. Hey, I know you figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. Hmm. A very interesting distinction. Hey, uh, teach. Train me in the art of the sword. Thank you. I know you figured. Oh, but... wrong, wrong person. Nope, sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'd like to do some gardening, please. I planted some stuff and now it's time to reap my harvest. White Verona. Almost at B rank for professor rating. Which is awesome! Because I'll be able to plant more flowers. Whatever I have the lowest amount of seeds in, I think would probably be the best thing to plant. Because usually when you plant the flowers, you get the seeds back as well. Plant those. Go ahead and scatter some bone meal. I know it's expensive, but it, it produces a great yield. Hi. Hello, Casper. Hey, Professor. Did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. Ooh. Your father. Em em uh, Empire business, perhaps? I guess that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs, after all. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. Very interesting. Very interesting. There's probably a lot of lost items around here from the fishing tournament. Although I just seem to mostly be finding bait. A lot of people are standing around here, but no one lost anything from that. There's Ash! So, I'm worried about Remire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. I'm pretty sure it's not normal. I've heard it's not an ordinary disease. I heard it's the work of a cursed specter. I heard it's not an ordinary then disease. What could it be? I like Ash. I also. Why can't you pet the animals in this game? Foreign golden coin. Like collecting coins. Old map of Enbar. Connection to the Imperial capital in the past. An insect larva. Well, Flane was standing here and Aloise was standing here, so. Just gotta keep an eye on that. Hello, hmm. gatekeeper. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's been gone for periods of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. Good news, everyone. I've discovered a way to kill all humans. Ooh, an arcane crystal. That could be used to forge a new, um... Hello there. What the hell is that blade called? Eleven sword. I could also buy more gifts here, but I think I'm gonna save my money for the time being. Actually, I do want to go to one of these shops, because I think I have some gold to sell. Yep, I've got two bullion. Thank you. What does White Verona do? Increases resistance. A bunch of the rustic weapons can be uh, fixed as well, but I'm gonna hold off on that for the time being. Uh, hello? A treatise of etiquette. Uh... Right. That was a very echoed right. Hello, Felix? You know, Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? Uh, hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? Uh, what's this quest you got? My father has been curious about your competence as a fighter. After all, I've seen, I don't see the need to test you, but he insists that you show your skills in a mock battle with troops from House, uh, Fraldarius. 
This ain't a mock battle. Ugh. So another another battle quest. Uh, what about over here? That's the dining hall. There's still people around here. There's Dorothea. I think she's off. To, I think she was that one person off to the side over here, right? Or maybe, maybe not. Oh, yep, maybe so. Maybe not. No, that was Ash. That kind of is the fishing hole. Although there is somebody on the pier that I didn't talk to. Oh, Eloise! I think you dropped something. I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. I didn't catch a single fish last month, but this month, oh, this month. Uh. Maybe you're doing something wrong. I'm casting my line just as the captain taught me all those years ago. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramire Village soon, aren't you? It feels like so long ago that you two came here. It's been a few months, so I can see why you'd think that. Hey, did you lose something like uh, like this foreign coin? Oh, this is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks, I owe you. No prob. Where was Dorothea? Uh... We go in here... I can zoom out the map more. Oh, you know what? She's probably out in this courtyard here. Uh, there she is. Hello, Dorothea. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Did you get a special reward? Yeah! I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? You want- do you want a kiss, or...? Uh... I do find you very... hmm... Nope, not enough to change classes. Alright. Not quite there yet. Okay. I figured, like, this playthrough I'll kinda, like, take it easy on that. Oh my god, I- an elixir. I'm gonna just go ahead and pick up all the stuff around the Amiibo Gazebo. I haven't actually done anything to warrant using the, uh... I think the next battle I go into, I'll use the soundtrack I got from the Tiki uh, amiibo, and then I'll, uh, I'll scan another amiibo the next time, uh, next time I explore. Of the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, oh, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No. We need it. Give it to me, not her. Thing? Hey, no. I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. Catherine and Shamir seem to want a two-toned whetstone. Hey, you. Do me a favor. Uh, Catherine wants a two-toned whetstone. It appears to be a precious item, so can you get one for her and give her something in return? Do you have that thing, Professor? If you find it, let me, uh, let me know. Oh, and I can't stress it enough. Give it to me, not Shamir. Got it? So wait. It was four. Ah, you can't. If I take as you were that room. Want? Hey, now. Uh, hold on. So if I talk to, to her. The four. It was four. Ah, if I, as you, that want, hey uh, now. I have yep. a favor to ask. So it seems like I have a choice here, and I can only give it to one person. Picked up a crest, crestological mysteries. It looks valuable. Someone might want this. You should ask around. Uh, I can only imagine who in the right mind could possibly want that. Who indeed? About crests, specifically crests. Crumpled love letter. Professor, you seem unwell. How are you faring? If you're not feeling well, I'd strongly recommend some rest. Thanks, Dimitri. Hey, Gilbert. Professor, tell me, is this about Ramire? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear. And the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. Professor, what do you think about all this? Some kind of illness, some kind of conspiracy, punch from the goddess. I'm gonna say conspiracy! In that case, we should strengthen the guards. If you visit the village, Professor, please, take care. Because I don't think it could just be some random Ill illness. Especially with what we heard Manuela talking about earlier. Professor, what have you got there? That's... my goodness, that is just what I've been looking for! I can offer nothing more than this. 
but I do ask that you consider trading with me. Okay. I am in your debt, Professor. I got a Tome of Comely Saints. Quite a new item, it looks valuable. Some might not want this, maybe you should ask around. Uh... Tome of Comely Saints. Book filled with il illustrations of male sa Manuela. I think I just embarked on a giant trading quest. Also, I didn't actually talk to Hanneman. I thought we might make it through last month in peace. But no, another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests. Why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. Many boys are obsessed with cre uh, with breasts. Hanneman only... is obsessed with crests. Thank you for your training. Give me a reason <laughs> to go on! The Saints Revealed! Someone who's a history buff. We've got a lot of lost items around here, so I should probably consider using them. Remire Village is an Empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Remire Village that Alois found you. Huh. Wait, Aloise found me? Or are you talking about when they first found me before I came to work here, like right before? I heard about Remire Village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Derek Mark should be on the lookout as well. Uh, I don't believe it is. I'll handle it. I don't believe it is. Oh, well, that's better. But I wonder what the real cause could be. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor, even if they're not exactly based on anything. Thank you, Lysithia. Uh, okay, uh, I still have... Quests and Crests. Alright, uh, this is a bunch of people from online. Hello, Flane. I am so happy to be part of your class, Professor. I honestly cannot recall the last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this. It reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. How long ago? Oh, I mean, very. Very, very, very long ago. Yeah, she's definitely like not, she's definitely not human. Hey, uh... I, I'm assuming it would come up in con conversation. Why can't I give her any of the fish? She seems like she'd love the fish. Whatever. Uh, although she does have the. Oh no, that's the bulletin board that's making that. Okay, makes sense. Songstress poster. Uh, that's gotta belong to Dorothea. Spotted a net. Hmm. The librarian is always out and about these days. And just when I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He better come back soon. Hmm. <laughs> I have questions, and that's more important than his actual safety. Oh, Professor. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on, let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. I detect a hint of sarcasm in your words, Hilda. But don't lock it! Alright, let's go... Eat! Spotted Edelgard. Raphael! Hey, professor, can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. I used to think they were the best, but now I can't even stand looking at them. <gasps> Raphael! It's okay to be worried. But worrying about it won't solve my problems. What if I can never eat fish again? Okay, there we go. Hey, do you want a... Huge fodling carp? No? Well, baby! I 
convey you to a kiss from a rose Thanks. on the grave. Ooh. Sweet apple blend. All right. I don't remember the exact words of that song. The more I get at you, the stranger the it is. Really yeah. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? I passed out recently, so probably not. I probably have brain damage. Investigating Remire Village? Be on your guard. Hey! When news reached us of the disturbance, ours was the first unit dispatched to Remire. We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumor suggested. And rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. Well, why wouldn't uh, like a panacea or anything along those lines help that out? It seems like an easy, easy fix for all that ails you. Uh, I think I talked to everybody possible in these in these areas here. Although we headed over to the green. All right, I gotta talk to Manuela and give her the the tome of of Tasty Boys. Hey, wait a minute. What you've got there isn't that. Please, could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this in return. Okay. Fantastic. Thanks, Professor. You have no idea how happy this makes me. I just gave Manuela a porno mag. Fire amulet. Hmm. Well, let's see. Fire amulet. Any charm that's from somewhere far away, someone from a foreign land might want this. Shamir! Oh, Shamir! Nope. Maybe not Shamir. Ah. Well, let's go to the training grounds first. Talk to Hubert and Monica. What? Hmm. Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. I'm not bothering her. Need some- I was just- Monica's barely said a damn word to me and it kind of worries me. Uh, brawling tournament today. Ooh. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's head into... Uh, let's head into the cathedral because there's a- looks like there's a couple quests around there. And you say, like, a couple of quests in there, and then suddenly the, uh, Hanneman's like, DID YOU SAY CRESTS?! I wonder if I'll ever find a party who understands I don't mean any harm when I flirt with others. Does someone like that really exist? You're bound to meet someone who minded that someday. Have you considered giving up on flirting? That's a dream that will never come true. You know what? I believe in this one, but I think they prefer to hear this one. Yep, you'll find somebody who's into that open, uh, open relationship. <laughs> Whatever you say. Yeah. Petra! This is a place of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. Aw. Our poor foreign friend. Alright, uh... There is other people to talk to, including a by Uh, three to one odds that it's Mercedes. Oops. I'm gonna say that's Mercedes in here, and... No, it's Sadeth. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the four saints are all important figures in the teachings of Saros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. Hmm. I have something to ask of you. Just between us, many students have disappeared recently. If you happen to learn anything pertinent, please inform me quickly and discreetly. Uh, click information on the missing students. You may find clues on, around the dor dormitory where the students reside. That shouldn't be too difficult then. All right, yo. I need something. I've got 1,500 points to spend. Uh, I guess all these are gonna give me Divine Pulse plus one, but let's see. I guess for the sake of my character, I'll go with this one. This one? This one? You're Is this okay? Woohoo! See you again soon. See you again soon. 
Okay. Okay. Someone's, where is this? Mercedes! Oh, goodness. Is something the matter, Professor? You look a little pale. I hit my head on concrete! It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. You're a sweet girl, Mercedes. You're just gonna make a good person someday. I just know it. I saw something glistening on the ground and I wanted to pick it up. You need a fa- I need a fa- I need not a concussion. I could use your help. I know it's inappropriate to write love letters to someone in her position, but I can't help the way I feel. It may only inconvenience her, but could you, uh, deliver this? Someone in her position. Something tells me I'm delivering a love letter to Lady Rhea. Uh, Lawrence is somewhere around here, but where? Oh, he's on the bridge. Cause he's a blue dot. Oh, Lawrence! Professor. How are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Nothing gets by you. What unexpected kindness. Nothing gets- Nothing gets by you, Lawrence! Just my natural talent. Nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Uh, hey! Did you... Get a bundle of herbs? Um, I don't recall misplacing anything. You will have to- <laughs> Don't give me that. How about a rose? Oh my, this is lovely! So, I figured, he wears a rose, so he must love roses. Here, have another oh rose, my, so I get your motivation maxed out. For the next time I teach! Alright, uh... The music seems to stop for some reason. Let's go to dor dormitory floor two. I've got to explore on the dorms anyway. Did the music stop for some reason, or is that just on the bridge? I think it was just on the bridge. Take it to the bridge! Hi, Marianne! Good day, Professor. Doesn't seem like a good day. Well then, I should go. Oh, Marianne. Hey, uh... Have a carnation. Oh, thank you. Or a rose. Oh. Uh... Did you lose? Let's see. Bundle of herbs. How to bake sweets. I don't think I found anything from you just, uh, just yet. So I'll continue moving on. Uh, whom what was I looking for? They're in their room. Ferdinand! The Meyer Village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. I'll speculate you not to speculate my speculation. Uh, ah, okay, so I do- I've gotta go over uh, to the dormitory in order to do that. Okie dokie. Let's go to the library where Claude and Lindhardt are. Uh, Lindhardt! I fear I may become a social recluse soon. My life consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although, I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? I mean, you know, you're fine. You're a little rude, but you're fine. There's a limit. Even if I spend all of my time rummaging through this library, there's a limit to the knowledge that can be gained. Apparently, it only contains books whose contents have been deemed appropriate by the church. If only Tomas were around, I bet he has some interesting stories he could regale us with. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright. So, hello Cyril! Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh hey, it worked out perfectly. Wanna trade me what you're holding for it? Uh, sure. Thanks, Professor. This gave, is great. Here's the fire amulet. One glowing stone. Hmm. Who would want a glowing stone? Who's in this office? Uh, Leone! Professor, Captain Gerald just told me. Remeyer Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how is your vertigo? 
I'm still still a little unsteady. Are you not feeling okay? You should get some rest. Hmm. If you must go to the village, make sure you're in good health before we depart. <sighs> thanks, uh, thanks guys. I'll I'll be fine. The knights go out from Garrig Mock to take on all kinds of other duties. I'd sure like a job like that one day. Yep, and this is then a great again, camera angle. I don't know. Serving Lady Rhea here is pretty good. Hey, uh, did you, uh, did you lose a uh, letter to Rhea? I don't know who this belongs to, but it's not mine. Well, I just figured because you seem to like her a lot. Like a lot. Like a lot. Like, 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 like a lot. An owl feather. Hoot hoot! Wait, that's a pigeon. Where am I? Uh, he still have to talk to Sylvain and Lady Rhea herself? Hello, Lady Rhea. Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Uh, I, you know what? I do not. I'm glad I met the students. Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. Sure, let's this go with that. This assignment will again take you outside of Garrick Mock, to Ramire Village. It was in Ramire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. This is chapter eight. How many months are in a year here? Hey, uh, oh, I can only choose one from here. Oh, she knows both sword and reason. Give me a reason. Give me a reason! I still have much to learn. I have learned Bulganone. It was half a Oh year. yeah, also, uh, Here's a reverent love letter. I appreciate this. Was that all I had to do? Yep, oh man, oh. Oof. Sorry buddy, you kind of struck out on that one. Uh. Oh, it must be on the other side of the hallway. I was like, where the hell is Sylvain? I didn't actually see him. But then, <gasps> inspiration. He's over here. Hey you. Hey you. I wonder how Remire Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the Queen Consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman, the fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Oh, Sylvain. Uh, hey, did you lose a crumpled love letter? Or was it? There we go. Oh, that's mine. Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day. Took a wild guess. All right. Uh, anybody else around? I think I've spoken to everybody. Now I just got have quest things to do. Just a few quest things to do. I gotta hoist myself up by the questicles. Presumably, I'm gonna get that two-tone grindstone. Or mm. whetstone. And then, oh here, Mercedes. Hello, Professor. What's that you've got there? I don't know. Would you mind trading it with me for this? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. I gained the Path of Dawn. All right, I'm gonna go talk to that one person oh. with the love letter. Impressive. You actually nice. did it? You delivered to Lady Rhea? That's so embarrassing. How could I ever face her? Ugh. Well, thanks anyway. Our renown has increased. All right, uh, who else am I delivering stuff to? Oh, Marianne. I'm delivering stuff to my students now, too. What's with the, this is a, such a weird trade fetch quest. Hello, Marianne. Um, professor, it's about that thing you have there. Yeah? If it's not too much of a bother, would you trade it for this? Sure. Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. I got medicinal eye drops. Now who wants medicinal eye drops? Ugh. I don't think I trained with Sadith before. Who actually wants these medicinal eye drops? Linhart. 
Linhart. That's a nice thing you have there, Professor. Don't suppose you're planning on using it yourself. Why don't you trade it for this? Sounds good, right? They're just throwing all the <laughs> tropes in there for various you, things. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. I got it. Hey, there's okay. Two-tone whetstone. I know exactly who that goes to. The stable. Uh, since I've already recruited Catherine, I figure having a better relationship with her would be better than having one with with Shamir. You brought it, Professor. Hand it over, and I'll make it worth your while. How? You can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Actually, what's the better prize? Excuse me. I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Here you go, Catherine. Here you go, Shamir. I can't back out of this either. Uh, uh, here you go, Catherine. Professor likes you better than me. Thanks. Here's your prize. Maybe I'll let you borrow it later, Shamir. I knew I could count on you. Uh, silver sword, black sand, steel, and a whetstone, and 200 renown. I also got a renown increase. Faculty training, uh, I want to get my sword skill up. All right. Good lord. And actually, because my renown has gone up further, I want to go back to the cathedral and unlock a new tier on the, uh, on the statues. Seems like with the amount of renown that I'm receiving, uh, I should be able to have this maxed out no in very little time whatsoever. All right, uh, uh, yeah, artisan. Something. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mr. Artisan, bring me a dream. Bum 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 bum. Make it the cutest that I've ever seen. Uh, brawling and bow, axe and authority, or lance and faith. I'll go lance and faith. One? You're all set. Thank See you. you again soon. Okay, let's head over to the uh, the do the dormitory. Actually, it'd be faster if I was at the greenhouse. Faster at the greenhouse. Aha. Huh. Missing student poster. A torn poster soliciting information on missing student. It says a student disappeared a few nights ago. Oh. I could probably also get training from Seteth since I didn't get that before. I think he. I think he does. Um. Uh, something that I have reason to be. Why did I just go get the man? I did this out of order. Well done. You have my thanks. Our, this is a start, but there's still much we don't know. We'll, we will need to investigate Flayne's case further. I will let you know if I learn anything more. All right. Uh, faculty training. You do do swords. Give me swords. All right, getting my training up. Hopefully once I get to B rank, things will be a little bit better. Uh, I guess the last thing I could do is the dining hall and just uh, be friends with people. Faculty night mixer today, today's special. Leone, that's the only one of my students that'll actually like it? Good Lord, what about the full menu? Uh, I want something that will be good with my students. Particularly, my Scythia, and... Hmm. Uh, Bernie. That'll use it the last of my points. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Yay! Maxed out motivation, and they like me. They really like me. We're gonna head on out of here at some point, but first... Ooh, how is Manuela doing? I... who... Oh, settle down and stop with the knocking. I'll be there in two shakes. Uh... I'd, I'd like a word. Oh, dear. Professor? Is that you? I... Just a moment. Oh, what should I do? I can't open the door in this state. Manuela, you simply must quit... oversleeping. Hold on. Where are my clothes? I can't even find my... 
Where in blazes is my underwear? Oh, I... What is my dressing robe belt caught on? Oh, I can't tie this properly. <laughs> it's not even covering... Oh, Manuela. This will have to do. I can hear you. Oh. I would hope, Professor, that you have the decorum to pretend you've heard nothing. Anyway, I'll be just another moment. Patience, please. Oh, hello. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Why, Miss Manuela, by the way you're dressed, I assume you're trying to seduce me. So, what do you want? What were you doing? Excuse me? You had a reason for coming here, I assume. I've put a lot of time and effort into making it possible to talk with you, you know. Sorry? No, you've done nothing wrong. Let's just say I'm not having a good day. Actually, I didn't have a good night. Never mind. What did you want, anyway? I have a message from a knight. You heard from him? The fellow from last night? Huh. What did he have to say? He said we will never go out together again. Yeah. Figures. Kind of saw it coming, actually. That's why I came back to my room and went to bed. To get over it. Thank you for checking in on me. Was that all you wanted? Well then, good night. Sleep well. Oh, poor Professor Manuela. Hello. Crude arrowheads, someone who favors the bow. <sighs> Must be for Bernadetta. Must be. There's one other one to the north here. Then we can call the episode. Wherever this may be. There we go. Professor. Catherine would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? Hmm. I wonder why. Sorry? Why does Lady Rhea give you special treatment? You're not particularly strong or good looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Shamir came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight, but a professorship, unprecedented. It is? I just don't get it. I'm flummoxed as to why she holds you in such high esteem. And it's not like just anyone can wield the Sword of the Creator. It's a legendary relic, right? And it was casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Geralt. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlan. By the time I joined, he was gone. So I don't know him too well, but he's strong, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlan who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. Maybe that's it. Geralt used his influence to help you. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. There must be something more to you. Okay, that settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. Oh, Mustard, you do that? I'll have to catch up on your affections. Anywho, uh, that seems to be everything. All the quests? Oh, let me go find a bulletin board right quick. Because I think that's all the quests that I could do there. Having to choose between one and the other to give the, uh... Yeah. Ooh, okay, new weapons in stock, new items in stock. 
Silver web. Oh, man. Okay. Horse slayer, armor slayer, short axe, short spear. I'll have to consider these next time I go into battle. Interesting. All right, and with that, next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses, we're gonna be moving on from this week after I maybe deliver some of the lost items that uh, I don't know where, who they actually go to. And uh, yeah, we'll continue on with uh, the next part of this month. See you all then. Later.